and welcome to Go Open, the world's first program dedicated to open source technology. What is open source? Ooh, I'm covered in open source. It's not that at all. It's big and hot, like a large man in a sauna in India during football season just outside the Taj Mahal. It's very exciting and every week we will explain more and more of open source to you, the beloved viewer. And not only that, we'll cover modern technology as well. New gadgets, new things, silver things that were and make interesting sounds, sometimes with adjustable speeds. We think it's going to be a hit with the women. And then later in the program, we're offering you a chance to win some fantastic prizes. All sorts of things, things you can wear, things you can plug in and lights will flash and you'll be so impressed. You'll have more friends than you've ever had before. All you have to do is answer a simple question all about the show and you can be a winner. My name is John Blissmas. We're going to discover a whole lot of things together. So buckle up, let's ride. Millions of people around the world are developing software that anyone can freely download, use, modify, and give away. It's a whole new world, and it's challenging the established software companies. Open source is the future of computing. Coming up a bit later in the program, some exciting news about uh, Quake being open sourced. Quake is a first person shoot 'em up game which kind of makes you feel like you're living inside Hillbrow. Now, I don't know if you know this, but many, many mega blockbusters, such as Shrek and Harry Potter, were all created with the help of a regular PC that was running an open source platform. Blue Crush. I'm Stuart Little. Whoa. Too Fast, Too Furious. Shrek. Wow. Let's do that again. No, no. No, you gotta blow in her mouth. Oh. Come on. Coming soon to a theater near you, a blockbuster film made using open source software. Hollywood has embraced the open source operating system Linux in a big way. Linux is very interesting because people say, keep saying, well, you know, next year is going to be the year that it wins a server or that it wins a desktop. You know, Linux is going to be number one. But what is Linux? It's a free and open source platform like Windows or the Mac operating system, but it's immensely flexible and very powerful. But in the motion picture industry, the war is over. Linux has already won. In fact, it, it won last year. Robin Rowe, founding partner of Movie Editor, spends most of his time consulting to the major Hollywood studios. He helps them maximize their use of Linux in today's cutting-edge special effects and animation. When people watch an animated feature, Robin says they accept that they're watching an entirely constructed world. It's not only animated movies using this technology. We're going to play like Brazilians. Go! When a studio does special effects, there are two different categories, special effects and supporting effects. Special effects are meant to be noticed. You're supposed to look at that and say, wow, look at that. Supporting effects are meant to be invisible. For instance, creating an entire virtual town from an empty field. Or making arrows fly through the air. In The Last Samurai, no arrows were ever on set. They were all painted in using an open source application called CinePaint. Are we going to see lifelike actors made from scratch using Linux? The choice to live an ordinary life Stuart, don't do it! is no longer an option. There's some footage of The Last Samurai that you've got where you'll see um, someone, on a, an actor on horseback, and he takes a, just a terrible spill and he lands on his head. You wouldn't want to do that with an actor. Sometimes live action needs a bit of computer power to help the along. The big thing about Linux is it scales well in that kind of environment. Typically, Hollywood studios work with hundreds of computers linked together in something called a render farm. This creates the equivalent of a powerful supercomputer. It's capable of processing the vast amounts of data needed to render the high-resolution animation and special effects you see. If you try to deploy a thousand Windows boxes or a thousand Macintoshes in a server environment, it can be done. People have done it. Uh, Linux has just been around a lot longer as a server, and in fact, it was as the success of Linux as a server for web pages that, that really drew the interest of the film industry, and they said, you know, that's not that different from what we do. We just do a lot bigger stuff. Come on! Now that Hollywood has embraced Linux... There's an arrow on your butt! What can we expect next? Linux is ubiquitous. It is the standard operating system. Um, 
you know, it's, it just continues to, to go forward. With more drivers and applications being written for Linux every day, it looks like open source is Hollywood's latest, brightest, most colorful superstar.